Now we'll do the other side. There, and that's the uh, condensers. I already checked the condensers and they're both good, so I don't, I'm not worried about them. It's the finished, uh, it's where the condensers go. Here, here they hook up to the points. Let's see. Now I'll put the uh, coils in. Okay, now we're going to put the coils in. It gets wrapped around the bottom. There's a, be really careful of this soldered, where the wire is soldered to the coil. You pull it around. There's a groove right here where the plug wire goes into. Rest in that groove. There. And this comes out the bottom here. Okay. goes on here like that it's kind of obvious this motor has been apart a few times I had to really work on these screw heads
there's two little uh, keys in there. You have to make sure there's one in the top and one in the bottom. There's also these two clamps right there that go in and hold the whole works together. So make sure you get those. The plug wires come out this little notch in the bottom here. Now don't don't tighten up the leave these loose because you have another part here that goes on. And then it has to slide down in these magnets right there. Well, this is the magnet. Now all you have to do is just put the flywheel on top of the motor, line up the keyway, and push it down. Put the nut on. That's the finished part. Here are my two helper kitties. That's Mystery and Spooky. They like to check things out.